Hello and welcome to this edition of Ask the Gov. Let's begin. Our first question comes from Christopher in Prey City via email. Christopher asks, I'm in sixth grade at Prey City Middle School. I'm wondering if you wanted to be governor when you were little. Actually, I had a couple of great eighth grade teachers that got me interested in government and public service. Lara Seawick, my eighth grade U.S. history teacher, and Fred Smith was my Iowa history and civics teacher. And they really inspired me to want to learn as much as I could about history and government. And Lara Seawick taught the three R's of good government. We all know about the Bill of Rights, but she also taught about respecting other people and their rights and the responsibility of being a good citizen, being honest, uh, voting, participating, and giving back and helping others. And those teachers really inspired me to someday run for public office and honestly, I think governor is the best job you can have. So I'm very honored and very proud to serve the people of Iowa as governor. Our second question comes from Frank in Lorimer. Frank asks, from your point of view, why isn't Iowa trying to get the Keystone Pike Pipeline uh, to go through Iowa? Well, the Keystone Pipeline comes down from Canada uh, to refineries in Texas. So it would be out of the way and much more costly if we were to go through Iowa. It is scheduled to go through uh, the western part of Nebraska. And, uh, but I think it would benefit uh, workers from Iowa as well as from other states. And I believe the Keystone Pipeline is a much uh, safer way to transport crude oil than by trains where you can have accidents and where uh, problems can result because of that. I'm hopeful the president will approve the Keystone Pipeline. I just came from the governor's conference and Governor Mary Fallon from Oklahoma asked the president that question. And um, the answer we got is a decision will probably be made in the next couple of months. The sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned, I think it would be a good thing for this country uh, and for our energy independence. The third question comes from Becky from Storm Lake. Excuse me, Becky from Spirit Lake. Becky asks, what is the progress on education reform? Last year we passed major education reform, our teacher leadership plan. It makes it more attractive to go into teaching and provides high achievers in the top 25% a stipend of $20,000 paid over a five-year period if they teach subjects like math, science, or special ed in Iowa. It also provides for uh, teacher leadership. Uh, 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 it, it provides funding to assist teachers that take on more leadership responsibility and serve as mentors or coaches to help improve the skills of other teachers and improve the student achievement the academic achievement of Iowa students. We did many other things in education reform as well, and schools will be phased into this new education reform starting next year. This is a planning year. Every school district has applied for a planning grant, and now one third, approximately one third of the schools in Iowa will get an opportunity to participate the coming year, and then another third the year after, and eventually 100% of Iowa schools will be eligible for this opportunity to improve uh, student outcomes in our state. We're very excited to be embarking on this uh, educational leadership plan and it's going to give teachers an opportunity to get paid more for taking on more responsibility. Thank you.